Hi there, today you are going to join Jimmy and Jenny and myself as we all went to the Big Goodwill as a family. I found a whole bunch of these puffkins from 1994. They don't have their hang tags from their ears, so they're not worth a ton of money, but I thought they were cute, so I grabbed those. These were in really great shape. I was like, look how great these the graphics are until I picked up the second cup glass and there was wearing on the gold so I did leave those there and then here was a Paul Revere anniversary mug and Paul's hair matched his horse's hair perfectly and then we went down the white section and there was a pink opal house mug with a J on it so this would be perfect for Jenny she didn't want it so we left it there and then I felt that this was a huge candle like um for a votive candle that would be turned upside down and then here was kind of a fairy lamp but not really a fairy lamp and they had some figurines and on the bottom of one when I picked it up it said Seymour so I think it those were Seymour man uh, made in Japan figurines I'm just guessing that but both of them had some kind of damage mm-hmm <laughs> and she had damage to her hand and then I found these. These also have a little bit of chipping to them. They're Shane McCarter figurines and they hold little candles and they feel like they're made out of plaster or chalkware. They're super cute. They cleaned up very nicely. I think they'd be perfect for Easter. I found a Mary Inglebright journal and decided to leave that on the shelf. And then they had a whole bunch of Mikasa china. They had a butter dish and a casserole. It looks like there was a sugar bowl in the back, cups and plates. Very 80s, early 90s look to them. And I thought it was reasonably priced. That was $4.99. And, oh, we have this. <laughs> I was pointing out to my husband, look, we have this. So we didn't need that one because we already had one. And then here was just a yellow lusterware sugar bowl. I didn't see a creamer. It was very pretty with the yellow roses on the one side. And then up on a top shelf, they had a lamp. Isn't that pretty? That painted design. I thought that was really nicely done. It was $12.99. I thought that was nice, but too big for me. And here was a Mrs. Butterworth's syrup jar and someone had painted this and my uncles used to do this when I was younger. I remember them painting them and I still have a Mrs. Butterworth's glass um, jar that I use for um, sugar. Here was a little pyramid puzzle. I think you could make the puzzle in just three easy pieces. And then Jenny and I were trying to figure out these look like magic lamps they were quite heavy but then the things right there seemed like something had broken off of them so i was a little confused so i left that there here was a pack of disneyland cards all sorts of things on the end cap today they had the cute little sandals jenny was saying look at the rabbit and i'm going back to the sandals thought those were cute this cat looks like our cat And then here is a painting somebody did. A tiny little nest. Very nice detail on the tree there. There are quite a few of those paintings today. And then this is paper cutting or Sharon Schnitta, I believe is how you pronounce it. That's how they pronounce it around here. So that was a little ballerina. Kind of a simple design, but nicely done. And I was seeing if this was old I didn't feel it was there's a cute little salt and pepper shaker and she had a terrible accident and then there was this stitchery piece I had to move this album out of the way to get to it here we go nope right there <laughs> but once I looked at it I felt it was missing something it was missing like a background or some grass and or or like a tree or something it was it was very plainly done 
but someone loved it enough to have taken it to a framers and put it in a frame, but I just felt that there was something missing from that. Here was some Rachel Ray, and here was the puzzle, this Unidragon puzzle. These sell for very good money. Here are some higher priced sold comps. Look at that. So I will talk about this puzzle later in the video, but that is a, a, a name that you should look out for because they sell very well. And then I found a bag of Russian lacquer, lacquer woodenware. There is two jar, there are two jars and a spoon and an egg cup in this bag. And so I decided to get that, put that in the cart and the puzzle. And then here is a flamingo dish drain. I thought that was cute. And then here are some more of those yogurt cups. Here they were only $1.99 and I think the other Goodwill had them for $2.99. I guess they only come in blue. And then you saw this at, in a video of Jocelyn's. We were there before her. <laughs> so I thought it was funny when she picked it up also. I thought $9.99 was a little high for this cat. I thought it was a Cats by Nina figurine, but it was not. Now here I'm slowing down the video because I did this too fast and I wanted to show you this uh, figurine. It was plastic, so that's why the video is a little slow right here and then it'll go back to normal. And on the same area, in the blue area, was this large pink cracked egg. This is very, very big. It's so pretty and with Easter and spring coming up, I think someone will love that. And if not, we will love it. So that is everything in the cart. I had these as a kindergarten teacher, so I thought someone else would like those tweezers. And here is some vintage graph paper. And there is this marble maze that we got that Jenny and I have been playing with. And then have any of you done these? These are fun to do. These dot pictures and everything's inside there. And then there were also some other paintings. I think someone got rid of their painting collection. They were nicely done. My friend, um, when her kids were younger, she would take the paintings after they had kind of painted on them and then repaint them white. And then the kids could reuse the, the easel or the, what are those called? <laughs> the, the paint, things you paint them on. Um, they would reuse them. I thought it was very clever of her because then you're not going out and buying more each time when the child's done with it you just paint it white and kind of start over again canvas that's it you repaint the canvas I knew it would come to me so here I'm trying to give you a look at the shelves and trying to be better at that instead of just picking up the things that I'm buying of course this probably frustrates some of you because you see things that I am not picking up that you want me to pick up but I think you'd like it just the same here was a Harley Davidson mug. I thought this was interesting. I know some Harley Davidson things do sell well. And then next to it were some souvenir pieces, a bell and a cup. Jenny and Jimmy have abandoned me for the car. So I am by myself now. And they, are, they waited patiently for me to finish. Seeing if there's anything else that I want to grab. I thought this was adorable. Isn't that sweet? For the garden. Or you can even put on a table, like a hall table. I think that's very cute. And this I felt, obviously somebody made it. But I feel like it was more of a hobbyist. And I apologize if you're saying, no, that's a famous so-and-so from so-and-what. But to me, it just looked like, you know, I could have done that. Like, you know, someone's like, I can paint a very nice painting, but I felt like someone did that and it wasn't like an artist professionally done. I could be completely wrong in offending people and I, I'm so sorry, but that's my impression was that someone enjoyed making that. And then behind all of these pieces, I found some Tonala stoneware pottery with a lid and there were no chips and it was um, signed on, it's signed on the bottom. I think I show you there's like a feather design and butterflies and there's the signature. So I thought that was very nice. So I decided to take that. 
I thought this was very sweet. It has a mother motto on it. And uh, I found other ones that they have dated it from 1900 to 1940. So this is a very old piece. And then this is a souvenir piece. It's a feather with a cute little sloth hanging onto the tree. I thought that was so sweet. And now uh, coming up next is Jenny and I are playing with the marbles. Right. Go ahead, Jenny. Get some marbles out of there. We're going to call it a rocket because it kind of looks like a rocket. I'm going to be professional. <laughs> Here it comes. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Got it. They're all of them? Now, point to the... <laughs> Where is it supposed to end? Either the here clear or, or the red here. one. Okay, fingers crossed. I suck at this. <laughs> I think it's working. What's the white side only? <laughs> Why is it leaning? Is it leaning? Is it leaning a little bit? Oh, it is. It just starts leaning. Okay. It was leaning. <laughs> this is the more exciting part, is wrangling the marbles. <laughs> Jenny, don't lose your marbles. Ah. Try not to. Ah. <laughs> so it's like two games. This is, this is, this the, is... the one game of building the thing, and then the second ah. game is, is keeping the marbles on the table. Okay, try this again. Okay. Oh, I have to try this again. Now it's even. Okay. There, oh, there we go. I'm just leaning over. It was just really cool. Oh, it got stuck. <laughs> oh, where? No. <laughs> so it's safer to live on the left side there than the go. right side. So this is Jenny's tower, and I said, Jenny, make sure. <laughs> are you sure nothing's nothing's gonna fall out? And she goes, I don't know. I plucked it in and it just bounced right out. It just right out. Okay. So here's, a lot. <laughs> so here's my tower. I am. Um, you have to help catch them if they fall out, but I think it's gonna work. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Oh, did it work? It did. They all go in one corner. Um. Yeah, I think so. So the majority of them went in this corner and just one went in that corner. But this is a success. I will be building it for Real Z tomorrow. No, just kidding. And this is the last there. <laughs> I can only do a few at a time because my hands okay. are so small. Okay, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I just I just went down and went faster. I feel like not going to edge him with they're all going over here. They must lean that way. No, no. Okay, they can go that way. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Me! <laughs> <laughs> so some in that corner. Oh, okay, in all the corners. Yeah, right. this, this one is... Oh, I'm an architect. I don't even know it. <laughs> here is the puzzle put together. Unfortunately, it had two pieces missing. And I did email the company because on the box it says you can email the company and they will send you replacements. And they responded back very quickly, but they wanted to know the order number. And I didn't feel right saying, well, I bought it at a thrift store and I want a brand new puzzle because that's what they were willing to offer me. If they could, if I sent in my name and address and order number, they would be happy to send me a replacement of the full puzzle. And I didn't feel comfortable getting pretty much a free puzzle when I bought this one at a thrift store and you run the risk of having missing pieces. So it was it was one of the most interesting pieces, puzzles to put together because the little pieces are shapes. Sometimes they were cats. Sometimes they were just kind of strange pieces. So I definitely will be looking for this brand in the future. And uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this puzzle right now. Coming up next is everything we picked up at this trip to the Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for giving me a thumbs up. Thank you for my newer subscribers and that have 
discovered my channel and thank you for all of the people who are leaving comments. We read every single comment. I try to reply to most of the comments. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see ya.